Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in automation with the Light Campaign V3 patch number 7. A bit of playtesting going on at this moment, not a proper proper let's play, but uh, of course we are also building that in. Uh, so, yes, let's continue our little journey and I am doing so with Wadhurst Automobiles. Um, let's see, the latest save is the automatic one. And that should be the correct one. Let's load it. And um, yes, uh, I I thought about how we could figure out if the competitors are indeed a little too weak or if there's something else going on. Um, and what I'm going to check out, like look look at that, 200 something competitiveness. I mean, yes, I'm building good cars here, but they shouldn't be quite that competitive. Not even at this um, affordability rating we have like 100% basically. Um, yes, more or less 100%. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, even though like normal cars would be, you would aim for around 80, 70 to 80 percent affordability for optimal returns. Um, but one thing we can check out is just uh, open this project, delete it. Uh, we did check that one out before. And just take it away and now let's generate a car because that is the competitors after all. Uh, we generate a new car project, we put it into luxury, but we turn on the AR car generation and see if that actually works. Uh, it should, it should. Uh, I don't know if it works in build. I have never tried that in this current iteration. So let's just click here and then um, you have to wait. You have to wait. It takes a while because it needs to piece the car together. Uh, choose the correct bodies, like look look all that up, and then tune the, the car and the engine uh, that it's building. And there it goes. So let's see what comes of it. Takes a while, this process. It's loading in is always slow for me. There we go, okay. Um, yeah, that is a decent iteration of a car, I would say. Luxury, 121. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see uh, what choices it made. Um, so, body. Oh, it went for this one. Okay. Well, I think that one isn't quite as competitive as choosing this massive one. Or even the newer one here. Uh, how much drag does this one have? So, lift, uh, basically nothing. Drag 0.36 versus, I think this one is worse. No, it's about about there, about there. That's fine. All right, but uh, choices. Oh, it went for monocoque. Okay, no, no, that's fine. I mean, that's uh, higher quality than what I <laughs> I go for with leather there. Uh, aluminium front, wishbone, wishbone. Yeah, it's good setup, good setup. And then the engine is a ah a 4.7 uh, liter V8, single overhead cam two valve. Hmm, good choice, good choice. I quite like that. And whoa, fuck me, that's about putting way too much power. Uh, that might be an issue. <laughs> that might be a severe issue. Maybe we should put in uh, some kind of mechanic for the competitors that if they have too much wheel spin to close the exhaust by uh, one step or something, so to strangle it a bit more, because this would be quite a bit better if it were Oh, well, two steps then, if it were this. Um, can't really see it there because it's not re-optimized for it. It doesn't re calculate at the moment, it seems, because it hasn't calculated the first time in here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. So, mm, that is good choice, good choice, everything good choice. The gearing, not so much, unless you really pull this one down. But even then, it's not great. Yeah, that's just not not that great. But the tire size, yeah, that's decent. You can fit some uh, brakes in there as well. Uh, not maximum size brakes, despite despite having some more leeway here. I don't think that is optimal. Okay, uh, then this is fine. Cooling airflow. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay for what the demographic wants. Um, and then we have luxury interior and luxury. Yeah, that's good choices. Uh, no quality here, of course. Advanced safety, that's fine. 
and we do have a good setup for the suspension. So yeah, overall this is a good build, but uh, one that could be optimized further. And seeing that it scores 121 means that, yeah, that is basically a competitor because this one wouldn't be coming out uh, before like in three or four years, no, probably four or five years. And that means that by then the average competitiveness would be around 100 for this one. So maybe my car is just that good or there is something else going on and something we need to look into, some kind of... A multiplier for competitiveness not being set correctly or whatever um, but yeah this looks like it's working as intended with the uh, created car could be optimized further but it's in the ballpark so uh, we're just going to delete this project again and create a new one and now do it manually and we are going for this massive land whale of a car 3.2 meters where do we have you uh, there, there you are. That will be perfect. There is no convertible in this one, though. Or is there? No, there is. There is. Over there. Awesome. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. The filters cut it out. No, that's a little odd. Also, it has the same tone, it has the same background to it. And that makes it look like there's just nothing there. If you have it, if you have it right there, there's only this little sliver. That's probably not optimal, even though there is this, like, there's more here, sir. Please, notice me. Um, hmm, okay. Something to uh, to think about how to best solve that if we want to put a trans... make this transparent instead. Uh, so that you can see what is behind it. That could work. Uh, not fully transparent, but, like, blurred and um, rather uh, rather opaque. So the land whale it is, and we are going to make our favorite choices. Still not biting off the monocoque, uh, monocoque piece of a cake. We can't can't eat that one yet. It's just too much engineering time, unfortunately. And we are going with. Hmm, we just had a facelift done, but I think we are going with a new variant of an existing engine because we can power this one up quite a bit and we should be deleting that one um, that it has no place in my lineup the automatically generated engine that is so we select this variant and then we call it uh, what, what is this the number two or something no um, we are in whatever Let, let's change the name later on like this a52 Mainly A52 it is. And no, nope, no thanks, no front wheel drive. And where is the engine? I don't see my engine. Okay, after loading in again, there it is. Uh, so, uh, it's a little boogie boog there maybe, but uh, none that really is terrible. Although my game crashed, which is quite terrible. Um, anyway, here we have our beautiful little engine. And, well, the game at least saved right there, so I didn't lose anything. Um, deactivate this stuff. Yes, we don't need front-wheel drive. So how do we want to uh, to get some more power in this one? The easy way, of course, is just open it up slightly. And there we have some more power. Mm, how much more is in there? Yeah, I mean, what is also limiting is this. This is crazy limiting, right? Let's see the flow. Intake 7%. Yeah, okay. If we go to a twin two barrel instead, is that better? Uh, yeah, I mean, partially. Uh, this is enough power. It's getting closer to it. 145, so it's not straight up super limiting. It's just 2% now. And the exhaust is still 5%. Is 5% enough, though? How much? Ooh, yeah, this really kills it. Uh, loudness is nice and quiet. Do we want to have... I think we might still want to go with this. Because it's so nice to have this super quiet engine. And very, very low uh, peak torque. Uh, yeah, yeah, very diesel engine. Um, I think... 
I think we can go with this. This totally would pass as a diesel, wouldn't it? Like the torque curve is spot on. Maybe even peaking a little earlier, <laughs> usually at around 1,200, 1, you would think or so. But 1,600 seems about right. Um, yeah, yeah, overall I still like the prospects of this engine. So let's switch around the fuel system. I slowly want to step towards more advanced fuel systems because they will give me uh, familiarity in then later on in the electronic fuel injection which is quite important to get some familiarity in because that is a massive engineering time coming up and I also at some point want to get rid of my push rods so I should maybe start an engine project um, that allows me to prototype one where I just pull down the sliders for um, tooling and stuff get that one out of the way and then uh, build on the basis of this engine okay let's select the big land whale do we want to make it even larger? Oh, no. Ah, this was the, the bugged one with no morphs. It's already fixed in uh, one of the car body makers version of it. The file somehow didn't get over here. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's just choose this and we go for our shitomatic and uh, 200 kilometers an hour sounds perfectly fine. Um, the medium compound we are going for large tires we go for 700s mm, cool and then how large can we fit in here this is now at 165 155s yeah Oof, that seat looks a little small but uh, I mean for the time yes we do need the space for the brakes <laughs> because this thing won't stop it would not stop um, Let's put them out ever so slightly, like there. Yes, it's looking good. And we are done here, aren't we? Now the scary bit, like, argh, we need all the brakes. We need all the brakes. And then we put down a pad type to destroy all the brakes once again. Probably go for maximum there because we need all the performance. Um, and cooling airflow. Yeah, let's try to get some reputation back into the company after what we did before and two seats in the rear we are going for luxury once again and luxury amory already has some some familiarity that's nice um oh yeah and alt mode you remember that right it's just clicking that button gives you an exact overview of what what familiar choices you're making um, okay, so that's nice, that's nice. We already have some 50s advanced. It's also good. 154. And that is without setting it to comfort tune. 200. There we go. There we go. So this is looking good. Uh, very, very competitive at the moment. Let's click that one. Oh, but you see the competitors are slowly catching up. They are slowly catching up. Mm, I probably should be comparing to these instead. Yeah, that's our, that's our target after all. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. Hmm. Uh, they they need to learn a bit more about tuning these old cars. I need to take a look uh, at that with Isaac to um, make our our tuning algorithms for the AI even more powerful. I think the, these competitors can be scary already to new players, um, but new players shouldn't be playing on insane difficulty where they are at 100% difficulty level. Um, yeah, even if it, they do look easy here, and it's still a decent build what they are going for, and yeah, not to be underestimated. That is slightly too much wheel spin. Let's see if we can reduce this, and yeah, yeah, we can. Let's try to get it to 100 kilometers now. Yep, there we have that. Did that lower things too much? No, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, it's about right. Okay, first gear to 100, <laughs> then you go from there. Uh, well, I mean, it, it it has so much so much power down low. Don't say torque. That's just just not not what accelerates a car. Um, it has so much power down low because it produces so much torque down low. Uh, that you won't have any issues taking off anyway, despite it being a land whale. 
1.6 tons. Ouch. Okay, I think we are mostly done here. Let's recheck that, the wheels. Now we could go with one thinner here, but they don't really care that much. And the other demographics, do they care? Yeah, kinda, the premium does. But I rather have a combined material cost that is 50% lower. That's the fourth item in the tooltip there. Um, yeah, that makes quite a difference. That makes quite a difference. Let's go with this. Should be good. I'm happy with this one. And out of here. The engine is all mounted and good. Yeah, yeah. So now let's make a convertible version of this. And let's call it the Finella. And we go with the sedan here. Okay, just switch over the body. And we shall see what comes of it. And there we go. And how do our competitiveness scores look? Uh, yeah, pretty good, I would say. Uh, nice. We are crushing in these categories. Oh, there's one thing I forgot about. We should have this at plus three. And we should have um, this at plus five. I think we can deal with that even on the first engineer now that we have some some um, familiarity. And our other car still sells really well. We just started it when the facelift hit, so we should have that bit of leeway. Um, do we want to up the suspension as well? It doesn't make that much of a difference. Mm, maybe a point. Yeah, just have to change it for um, for my sedan as well. So plus three, plus five, and plus one. So they should have equal settings now. Checking out the markets, beautiful, and we are out of here. We are going to use my little factory, not my little pony. Um, there we go, there are many ponies in this car though, and we upgrade to level 3. I believe that's that's definitely a thing we can do now. Come on. Seven months. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Uh, do we want to up tooling quality a bit? We can afford to do so. A slight investment. Um, how many months worth of sales is this? You can, <laughs> can look at it that way, really. And how much benefit does it give? So we, it's exactly 10 million, 10 million. And if we up it to 70, so that's 3 million it costs. And if you look at how many uh, we are producing each month, it goes from 320 to 326, so six more cars. That's not great, but every car we sell also becomes how much cheaper? Let's see, so 8,090 and 7,030. Okay, $160 uh, less. That does make a bit of a difference. Um, should be giving us some more potential sales in premium that way. But, uh, yeah, it's not really that relevant. It's more a, a good habit, I think, because in this version, it's not implemented yet, but in the light camp campaign before it will, that um, your build quality, that graph has been removed, that was here, your build quality is going to um, give you bonuses to your reputation and prestige, and that will cost you dearly in the uh, tooling quality if you want to go there. Let's sign off this factory, seven months worth of um, retooling, I don't think we will be able to build any stock, but uh, yeah. So, car factory is set up, and I don't even think we need to change our engine factory much. Ooh. The base time, 75. Let's try to get that to 60. It shouldn't be too bad. If we lower this to 35, we are already almost there. And this only costs 16k? Whoa. That's cheap. That is quite cheap. Uh, do we want to cheap out on the reliability, maybe? Or we just put some pressure on them? Yeah. Just a little bit of pressure here. That will be fine. It costs us 2.8% reliability. That's uh, acceptable. I think that is acceptable. Uh, 15 million. 
Hmm, we could also pour money into it, but uh, I, I'd rather not. Because that is kind of my... Uh, how many months? That's 10-ish months worth of um, production. The current cost, and if you just pull it up like this, you double that. And that's not worth it for four months of engineering time. You have to weigh those things carefully. Uh, and yeah, overall, these, these choices are now so much more interesting than before with all the mechanics now finally being implemented. And some good feedback here on the actual production prices and your um, the competitiveness and so on. And uh, reliability being affected. Alright, let's uh, head over to the engine. This one should be a quick one to engineer. A really quick one. Maybe we want to amp up quality a bit more. Let's see if we can. I mean, it's easy enough. Um, oh, wait, wait a second. Uh, do we even need to upgrade this? I don't think we do. But we could invest some into tooling quality. And... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, into automation as well. Okay, that's good. A bit of a factory upgrade. Huh. Okay. This one supposedly still takes 37.8 months. Well, it's not a problem. Um, we have plenty of time. But I was wondering if we maybe can uh, modify the engine a bit more. And this one shouldn't be here. This one needs to go. We activate it and delete it. And only have this one here. There we have that. Okay. Um, but I did want to, to look into it. Maybe we can put some more quality into it. Ah, we did. Okay, we did. Or was that done already before? Maybe it was. I can't remember if we did. I think I want to have one step in here. Or maybe two even. Because we can rev this thing a little higher. There we go. Doesn't cost us much. It's looking good though. This is super high revving engine now. Look at that. 4,600. Crazy. Uh, this remains the same. All the other settings are fine. Yeah, that should up engineering time slightly, but not significantly. 38, yeah, from 36 to 38. That's fine. Um, all right. We do have... We did want to get down to 60, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. So we can up the tooling to something like 40 here. And we can... Uh, what, do we, what can we save on? Mm, not really... Not really anything. We can lower the pressure and we can lower the funding. That costs us a lot. We can up the reliability slightly. Uh, and now reduce funding. That saves us a few months worth of production profits. And lower the pressure so that they can learn a bit more. We get some more reliability from that too. But it increases the cost again because the engineering project just takes longer. It's not the world, not the end of the world, rather. Uh, yeah, pretty good match. Pretty good match. I like it. 31 million for the project as a whole, with the factories and all. So let's sign this one off. And that is a really competitive car. That is really, really competitive. Uh, awareness can go up a little bit. And, well, this one probably should be a negative because competitors are coming out so quickly. I don't know why it does this, though. It seems odd that the, um, the competitiveness would increase towards the higher numbers there. If you... Oh, is this an artifact of this? Whoa, this is reducing so... <laughs> what is even going on there? That's weird. Uh, maybe some pricing. Maybe this looks at the wrong price or something. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look at these numbers. Holy shit. Why are they all the... The, the, okay. Holy shit, that's that's a bug. First now <laughs> noticing. These numbers are correct. It's just the ordering of this whole thing being completely awry. Okay, that's, that's a bug. But overall, I'm uh, quite satisfied with the look of this. Should give us massive profits, as this one tells you. A good match. Uh, the engine factory can work a little longer. Just worried about the seven months here because we won't be able to build much stock. Oh, and I need to up these to, let's say we, 
We don't sell them under 50%? Yeah, let's let's amp it up to 50%. Yeah, that will be good. So that we don't um, over um, no under underproduce right from the start. Uh, is this dangerous? I don't know. Until then, we should have access to a bit more marks. Maybe lower to 30. All right. All right. Let's sign it off. Uh, this is a total cost of 60 million. That's fine. And we have everything in here. This is looking nice. We have the cars. And let's sign it off along with the engine. 60, 60. Awesome. Agree. Cool. Our future is secured. And let's have a look there. We just started production here. And now let's see until it goes into production, maybe? Yeah. Uh, we could be working on yet another car to go into a different market at this point. But that will require us to... I think, yeah, but I think it would be time for that. That would require us to... Uh, get a new factory going and buy plots. And I don't want to do so while the market is up by 10% uh, year over year. That is making things a little too expensive. So maybe wait until the next, uh, next dip. And until then we get our company valuation up so that I can take out a bigger loan and actually cover those costs with a loan. Uh, I think that would be a, a sound, sound proposal. All right, well, so wait for the next downturn. Should be around 1955-ish, if we see those trends. Around 1954, 1955, yeah. Um, and then just see what our company valuation is at. I'm going to save up a bit so that I can take out a bigger loan too. Yeah, okay, the downturn is starting already. That's good stuff. Uh, a little earlier than I anticipated, but uh, yes. Uh, let's have a look at our current sales numbers. Oof, okay, we're dominating these markets. Uh, GT Premium even. <laughs> That's the, the unsportiest GT Premium ever. But back in the day, I mean, how sporty were these cars really? Uh, one thing that is quite good to see is that our reputation isn't taking a big hit anymore. And that is because our reliability is higher than the competitor's reliability and compared to the rest of the market as you can see here we are about on par slightly below slightly below their reliabilities on average so that means we only lose a slight amount of reputation but we do gain massive amounts of uh, prestige because well we make the most prestigious car in the market look at that prestige 36 versus 7 yeah that's pretty good now i wanted to check out the awareness levels Looking good, looking good. Um, increased another 7% over the last year. We're getting some score here too. Selling highly, highly... Um, oh, why, why are the graphs working now again? Uh, they, they can't decide what they are going to do. And uh, you can see the, um, the competitiveness drop over time as the uh, oh that's since production and that's since uh, it went into production seven months ago already has dropped and that is because our and uh, we have increased the, the margin and uh, that's the reason for the most part and also new competitors have come out and that will push those values further down and here we have kept the levels pretty constant they have more budget maybe i don't know um okay let's speed through here Oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second, R&D, we do need to start some R&D. Uh, better now than, than never. So, let's put three into interior. Uh, what more do we need? We do want to have body choices earlier. Let's put three into there. Fuel system for reliability to save our reputation. And mm, what more do I want? Suspension, driver assist, driving it. Yeah, driver assist. That could be good. Yeah, I think so. That that should be fine. That costs us... Oof, ouch. It's quite expensive. Mm, do we really need all of these? Maybe just a slight bonus here. That saves us a good 120k. 
And maybe just a plus two here. Yeah, that's more reasonable. Maybe just two years? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's better. Yeah, you can see a small dent there in the expenditures. Uh, it's all fine. Oh, we're continuing to increase. Oh, there was a dip. There was a dip. I think there were some competitors coming out. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that massive dip there. Uh, just took a nosedive. It was pretty constant for a while and then it just died. From 168 or something down to 140-ish. Let's have a look at what our maximum loan size is at the moment. We have a company evaluation of 254 million. And we are making, we only have 99 million in the bank, but our assets are of course worth something and our revenue stream is pretty high. Currently, the maximum loan we can take out is 112 million. That's not much. Uh, let's take a look at what, oh, we could also cheat with taxes. That would be fantastic. Let's do that. Let's do that. So 1954, in December, we are going to, like, I want to have this downturn further further on. In December, I'm going to buy a plot. Don't put a factory on it, but I'm going to buy a plot. Also, let's take a look at this. I think we are we're a little on the low end here for um, what we allow ourselves in maximum... Oh, these are still wrong. <laughs> these are still the wrong way. That has been pointed out several times, though, so uh, I think that's on the to-do list. Um, we are a little low in maximum. Yeah, I want to get it higher up. So how about we try to increase it to level 3. That costs us another 120k to get there. I, I think it's worth it. So let's increase it. Yep. And we definitely can afford it as a, at a plus 3.1 million here per month. It's a no-brainer, really. Maybe even level 4? 300k? Ooh, that's aggressive. 500k. Ouch, but 60%, that's nice. That's the maximum. This is the maximum, this is the minimum. Um, now let's let's do it slowly. Let's do it slowly because you, while they are increasing faster, it's the more optimized way is to go in smaller steps and slowly increase there because you're not reaping the benefit um, right away, but you're paying the money right away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's do it slowly. Oh, also marketing. We should check out marketing. Uh, oh, back, back. Uh, marketing. Nothing. Well, nothing isn't good enough. So let's put some money into that too. Level 2 in prestige. Oh, we can go level 3 here. And put level 3 into that too? Something like this? Gasmia can only really afford that or do we want to push it hmm yeah if, if you don't do marketing no one knows about you so let's see if we can push this a little higher via these selections uh, cost a bit but we can afford it cool let's see what happens to our our awareness too uh, that just made a small dent but oh my god oh my god competitors ouch uh, what happened there Oh my! Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, yeah. Okay, that wasn't great. And wow! Okay, the market awareness skyrocketing now. 33%. Really nice. Uh, do we get anything in these other demographics? Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it. Uh, it's good stuff. So, no, we hit 100 points in game score. Oh, 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 oh stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stop you right there. Uh, that is basically the bottom of the downturn. We were at uh, minus 1.6. So it's not a deep, deep recession. Just a small one. Correction, basically. Uh, if we want to buy a, um, a plot, we should be doing so now. We missed it for the previous year. Had to pay 12.9 million in taxes. That was a big ouchie. Uh, company valuation is going up there though. Uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at the factory manager. And uh, new car factory. Let's see. We do. Pro ah, I would love to put it in Froenia. 
or in Ahana or something like Cheapo produ produced this shit. Mm, medium plot costs 100 million. Do we want that? Or do we want to have another small one? Well, I'm not sure if we are in a place where we can afford the medium. That is very expensive. Okay, it's cheaper in Hedvesia, here, of course. Yeah. But going for another small one. And it gives us the versatility of being able to cater to a different market. And I think that's what we want to do. Now, let's build another like small three or whatever on top of this. And just pull down the sliders for the time being. And have all that at zero. Oh, they are at zero anyway. Because there's no tooling inside. So you don't pay for that. That's good. Uh, this one costs us 40 million. Alright, sign it off. We have another small factory. And of course I need to uh, create a the equivalent engine factory as well. But that means uh, that I will have to wait for the next year so that I dodge the taxes. Oh, the market is pointing up. The market is pointing up. Come on, New Year. There we go. Okay, we paid only 3.67 million taxes this time around, thanks to the factory. Uh, still gaining money overall. And let's build the engine factory now. Oh, that's the wrong one. I want to go into here. Small plot for engine factory, small three, and nothing in there. Yep, sign it off. Nicely staggered <laughs> by uh, uh, exactly one year. And I think we call it a day for, or an episode rather, um, right now. This one has been going on for a while. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. Yeah.